Hi, in previous lecture I discussed how to construct LR automation and parsing table with the example 1. Let's discuss example 2 for constructing LR automation and LR parsing table. Here grammar is H derive AA, A derive AA, A derive B. First step we need to write the augmented grammar. We just add one augmented production that is S dash derive S. Then we will write the grammar that is S derive AA, A derive AA, A derive B. Now augmented grammar is done. Next we need to create the LR automation. First production will be S dash derive dot S. When there is a dot symbol before S, we need to find closure of S. So we need to write production of S. So S derive dot A A. There is a dot before A, so we need to write A production that is A derive dot A A, then A derive dot B. And we will assign one state name that is I0. There is dot before the RHS part that means we have not visited anything. There is a dot before S, before A, before terminal A, before terminal B. So there will be four transition from I0 state with S, with A, with terminal A, with terminal B. Now from I0 by S it go to another state that will be I1 and the production will be S dash derive S dot. Here dot was before S, now dot is after S. Next we will do the A transition. From I0 by A it will go to another state and their production will be S derive A dot A. There is a dot symbol before variable A so you need to write closure of A means you need to write all production of A. So we'll write A derive dot A A A derive dot B and we'll assign one state name that will be I2. Next we will do the terminal A transition. From A0 by terminal A it will go to another state and their first production will be A derive A dot A. There is a dot symbol before variable A so we need to write closure of A. A derive dot A A A derive dot B and we will assign one state name that will be I3. Next, we need to do a B transition from I0 state. By B, it will go to another state and their production will be A derive B dot. This is a reduction. Now, we did all the transition for I0. Next, we will check I1. I1 that is a accepting state. So, there will be no transition. Next, we will check for I2. In I2, dot symbol is before variable A before terminal A, before terminal B. So there will be three transition for A, for terminal A, for terminal B. Now from state I2 by A variable, it will go to another state where production will be S derive A, A dot. Next we will do for terminal A, for terminal A, it will go to another state where production will be A derive A dot a. There is a dot symbol before A. So we need to add closure of A. That will be A derive dot A A and A derive dot B. If you see there is already a state with the same production that is I3. So from state I2 by terminal A it will go to state I3. Next we will do transition for B. For B, it will go to another state where production will be A derive B dot. If you will see, there is already a state having the same production that A derive B dot. It is I4. So, from state I2 by terminal B, it will go to state I4. Now, I2 is done. Next, we will check I3. In I3, there is a dot before variable A before terminal A, before terminal B. So there will be three transition. First we will do for variable A. For variable A it will go to another state and their production will be A derive 
a a dot this is a reduction as dot is at the end next we will do transition for terminal a for terminal a it will go to another state where production will be a derive a dot a and there is a dot symbol before variable a so you need to write the a production means a derive dot a a and a derive dot b if you see there is already a state that is same i3 i3 contain the same thing so from state i3 by terminal a it will go to same state i3 it will be self loop next we will do the b transition so for b transition it will go to another state where production will be a derived b dot we already have a state having the same production that is i4 so from i3 by b it will go to state i4 now i3 is done next check for i4 i4 is a reduction so there will be no transition next check for i5 i5 is a reduction so there will be no transition then check i6 i6 is also a reduction so there will be no transition next we'll assign some reduction number like this is our reduction 1 this is our reduction 2 this is our reduction 3 you can say i3 state that is reduction 1 then i4 that is reduction 3 then i6 that is our reduction 2 now LR automation is constructed. Next step we will construct the LR parsing table. There will be two part. One will be action and another will be go to. Action will contain all the terminal with dollar and go to will contain variable. There are two variables S and A. And in first column we will write all the state. The state are from I0 to I6. So we will write I0, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6 in the first column. Let's first do for I0 state. From I0 state by terminal A, it is going to I3 state. So let's try down S3 in A column. Then from I0 state by terminal B, it is going to I4 state. Let's try down S4 in B column. Next from I0 by S, it is going to I1 state. In go to column, we'll just write the state number. So let's try down 1 in S column. Then from I0 by A, it is going to I2 step. So, try down 2 in A column. Now, I0 is done. Next, we will do for I1. I1 is a accept. So, we will write accept in dollar column. Next, we will do for I2. From state I2 by A, it is going to I3. So, we will write S3 in A column. Then from state I2 by B, it is going to I4. So, we'll write S4 in B column. Then there is a, a transition by variable A. It is going to I5. We'll write 5 in A column. Next, we'll do for I3 row. From I3 by terminal A, it is going to same state. So, we'll write S3 in A column. Then from I3 by B, it is going to I4 state. We will write S4 in B column. Then from I3 by variable A, it is going to I6 state. So we will write 6 in A column. Next, we will do for I4. I4 that is a reduction dot symbol is at the end. And that is reduction number 3. So we will write R3 in all column of action. Just write down R3, R3, R3 in A column, B column and dollar column. Next, we will do for I5. I5 is also a reduction and it is reduction number 1. We will write R1 in A column, B column and in dollar column. Next, we will do for I6. I6 is also a reduction and that is reduction number 2. We will write R2 in A column, B column and in dollar column. Now LR automation and LR parsing table is done. There is no multiple entry so this is a LR grammar. In next lecture, I will discuss some more example of LR parsing. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.